In today's lesson, you're going to learn how to slay Riff by Mighty Riff, Hand of Doom by Black Sabbath. What's going on? My name is Jared and welcome to Beholden to the Riff, the heaviest bass channel on YouTube. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Let's get right into it. We are in E, standard tuning. So grab your axe, tune up, and let's do this. Riff number one is happening in this area of the fretboard. Starts on the A string with a third fret hammering up to the fifth fret. Then we go down to the E string, third fret, fourth, fifth, little chromatic. Here's the phrase, nice and slow. This riff is chock full of groove and what may help you to get this one down as far as the timing goes is to kind of follow along with the eighth notes. So it's and the first hammer on is two eighth notes. So that can kind of set the tempo for you. So every time there's a quarter note, like these third, fourth, and fifth frets on the low E string, that's going to get two head bobs. Hands down, one of my favorite bass riffs of all time, no doubt about it. Riff number two comes in at two minutes and five seconds, and we're shifting up to this area of the fretboard here, kind of the 8, 10, and we go down to 6. So it starts on the D string. Here's the first measure. Eighth fret on the D string. Tenth fret on the A. Slide down to the eighth fret. Sixth fret on the A. Then eighth fret on the E, that kind of triplet. So that's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. This time changes the phrasing a little bit. So we go eighth fret on the D, then we slide from eight up to 10, back down to eight, then six. Here's those two measures nice and slow. Here it is up to speed so you can hear that kind of swing feel. Next part of the phrase, instead of doing those triplets on the 8th fret, we're going to go up an octave to the 10th fret on the D. Same kind of rhythm. Then we're going to go 6th fret on the E, and then our slide, just like the first time. So starting on the 10th fret. Last part of the riff goes back to those triplets on the 8th fret E string, kind of ends going like this. I'll play it first. So this time we're kind of walking back up. Here's riff number two played all the way through nice and slow. Mm -hmm. 
so good. Riff number three comes in at two minutes, 19 seconds and gets a little busier. We're going to be up in this area of the fretboard. Basically, the riff has like a hook and then a fill. So the hook, which we play pretty much every time we, we play a phrase of the riff, starts eighth fret, E string, goes like this. So we play that and then we play a fill. The first fill we play is A string, 10th fret, uh, eighth fret, D string. Then we play the hook again. This time the fill, we go all the way up to the 10th fret on the G, then 8th fret on the D. So instead of going through all the little fills, I'm just going to play through the whole riff number three nice and slow. Kind of repeats that same idea, pretty much the same fills too, one more time. Before we get into the next lesson, just want to take a moment to thank the Beholden to the Riff Patreon community. Your support means the world to me and makes all these lessons happen. Thank you so much. <laughs> four comes in at three minutes 27 seconds and is setting us up for this change in feel change in dynamic and just really a totally different part uh this is quintessential sabbath the riff is going to be happening on the d and a strings basically eighth and tenth frets between the between the both of them so i'm just going to play through all the way through <laughs> minutes 37 seconds and now we are in a totally different feel totally different character to the song we might as well be in a different song it's going to be ninth fret down to eighth fret on the e string every once in a while it's going to throw in this kind of full power chord eighth fret e string 10th fret a string 10th fret d string six comes in at four minutes 24 seconds during the guitar solo and is really kind of an, another just complete change out of nowhere really happening eighth fret e string pretty much this, the same area eights and tens so here's the basically outlining this power chord second measure does pretty much the same thing Third measure, fourth measure. Here's the first four measures.
Next part of the riff starts on that eighth fret E string. And now we're, we're getting a little busier, basically climbing up the, the pentatonic scale here. Next measure starts on the 10th fret D string. Got a little bend, 10th fret on the G. Here it is one more time. The solo is centered around the same idea and then it's just kind of variations on that. So I'm gonna play us out, but before I do, thank you so much for checking out the video. There's a complete playthrough synced up with the tabs on the Patreon page. Check it out. If you dug the lesson, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next one.